Finally found a nice day to come out and do a little fishing. You can see up here, I got my fly rod and we're testing out the new Hover X1. This is a pretty cool flying drone designed to kind of film yourself. And I wanted to put it through some of the paces. Right now, I just have it in manual mode and I'm talking to you via the microphone on the camera. Now, the mic on the camera is pretty cool because this thing puts out a pretty high pitched noise as most drones do. However, this little app and somehow magically through the powers of AI, let's call it, it's probably just programming like most AI, but it's taking out that little high pitch frequency and noise so that in theory, you can hear me. So right now, this and any shot you see where we're producing it from the X1 Hover drone will have audio that comes directly from the camera itself. Now, if you want to hear what it sounds like, take a listen to this. One of the cool things you can do is what you're seeing right now, and that's a bit of a dolly track. Now for a solo filmmaker like myself, there is no way I could do something like this. But with this camera, it makes this and many other things possible. This is underwhelming as a camera. All in all, it shoots 2.7K max at 30 frames per second. Now you can get 60 frames per second out of this thing, but you're gonna be shooting at 1080 which for some people isn't the best. But if you're gonna use this as a B-roll camera, or maybe even what I would like to say is a C-roll camera, well, it's pretty good. I mean, you could do a lot of really cool things with it. I don't have to bring this heavy tripod with me. I can just kind of use this as a mobile tripod. But again, with those shortcomings in terms of not being able to shoot in 4K, this having a not so great camera and a limited sensor, unless you have some really bright sunlight like I do now, I question the camera quality and what we're gonna see out of it. But overall, I'm really enjoying this thing. And it's got really, really cool modes. You just saw an example of the dolly mode where I'm walking towards the camera. But it also has something pretty cool too, come on. So it will follow you on any of your voyages. Now I will say it doesn't have any type of obstacle avoidance. All it has is two sensors on the bottom. Now those two sensors are on the bottom are a good thing because it's gonna sense up and down, but it's not gonna sense anything in front of you or behind you. Now it does use this type of active tracking to keep you in frame and to follow you. So you can see if I start walking again, it should follow me. And even if I make a slight deviation, but you are gonna to have to be aware of what's around you. This will give you an idea of some cool shots you can do. However, just like that, I ran out of battery. So this thing is showing very little battery. That was maybe five, six minutes. Well, I'm on my phone right now. The battery failed as uh, probably anticipated. Um, I just don't know how to feel about it. I really like it. The design's awesome, flips open. Now, when you hit these buttons and you can make it fly and stuff, you can look online to see the details. But overall, I just wanted to give you an idea of whether or not you should buy it. And I think you should buy it if you have extra money, uh, if you are a creator, if you do things like I do. But recognize that you're going to need six to eight batteries. That's all there is to it. Any one of these people on YouTube that, let's call them less than truthful um, reviewers because they're sponsored, I'm not sponsored by this company, um, they're not gonna give you the whole story. If you listen to most reviewers who aren't honest, they're going to tell you that you can get away with two batteries. That has not been my experience. And I have used this in all different type of conditions. But for the average person, you need to wait. The battery life is just so bad that you're gonna end up being frustrated like I was. And I know you can get better at all the settings and that becomes faster, but at the end of the day, while you're fiddling with the settings and trying to set this thing up, you're wasting battery and that's not a great thing. So unfortunately, wait on this product, boys. I got some fishing to do, so I know this was a rather quick one, but when you only have a little bit of juice, it's gonna be quick. I'm Hill Phantom, I'll see you next time. First couple casts in here, and it looks like we got a nice little, what is he, a brownie or a rainbow? <laughs>